Hey folks, my name's Nathan Kelly. I'm the director here at Cold Chain Census. And I just wanna welcome you to this onboarding video, which is really designed to show your team how the uh, Cold Chain system works and how it's gonna help you to protect your expensive stock. So we work in several industries, all the way from uh, medical centers and pharmacies and uh, large hospitals, all the way through the hospitality. We work in labs and uh, through to industry and protecting large amounts of cold storage um, in warehouses. So what our system is designed to do is to track the real time temperatures, to record those uh, temperatures and to report on any fluctuations in those temperatures and of course to send you alerts um, so that you can take action and prevent uh, yourself from having a cold chain failure uh, ever again. And the system does that, does it all around the world thankfully now and uh, it's, it's really quite easy to use. So what we've done here is now that you've come on as a client, we've actually set the system up for you here at home base um, and we've sent it out to you and it's been installed. Now all of your details, including the specific temperatures for your industry and all of your contacts, um, have already been populated into the system here. So all you need to do, either on your desktop, uh, on your laptop, or on your phone or iPad or something, is log into platform.coldchainsensors.com. And when you log in there, very simply, you're going to be uh, met with this screen here. Now this screen you can also find under the Manage tab. First thing you do is pop in and you will see uh, hopefully green, which means that everything in your system is working as it should. Now don't pay any attention to the temperatures on your screen there. They're just a demo which you're running in the fridge and freezer here at the office. You'll have your own specific set of temperatures and you'll be looking for those temperatures um, to stay within those ranges. So for example, in uh, vaccine fridges, we want them between eight and two. Anywhere out of there uh, is considered, um, after about 12 minutes, a cold chain failure, and you'll need to talk to the relevant authorities because that stock could be lost. It's the same for food, it's the same uh, for samples in a lab. So very simply, here's what we're going to do. When you open it up, if you see green, everything's hunky-dory, all good. If you see red, it's going to mean that you've wandered outside those temperatures and that you need to do something about it. Now, mind you, you would already have received a email and an SMS to your phone and your computers, and you, that is what is going to attract you when you need to have a look. If for any reason you're just surfing the web, you pop on in here and it is red, we just encourage you to give it a quick refresh and that will update. Yep, so we're all good here. After that, just pop across to your summary. You can see that you have three assets. In this case, that's one gateway and two centers. You can see that there's no corrections needed. You can see that on the green that there's three within range and um, everything is online. There's nothing on, offline there. So that's all good news. If you wanted to take a closer look, you could go to the fridge upstairs, for example. You could see the history uh, down here on the left. You can see the temperature and across to the right, the signal and the battery strength. Across the blue bar, you will see the amount of readings. You'll see a summary of the minimums, maximums, averages and alerts, and of course, correct the actions taken. And I'm gonna explain that in just a moment. But let's say somebody asks you for some data from uh, a period last year. All you're going to do is go to the download button. You're going to set up your from and your to and the date, all of those details you're looking for, and press the request download button. Now, what the system will do is it will automatically um, calculate and uh, get that report together and it will email it through to your email for you, which you can print out or you can email on further. So it's a really good way of tracking down the history of what's taken place. Of course, uh, that's your history. You can also go across to your notifications. This is also your history. 
So on four occasions here, we've actually triggered some alarms. And in each of them, we've gone across here and we've made a note next to the um, alarm and actually made a note of what the problem was. So on this occasion, we restock the fridge and then we go across to the notes and we can type in a specific note there. Restocking fridge um, and the temperatures resumed um, as normal. Yep, just, just something there. This is for your historical data. Let's say you, you've got down here and on the 19th of March um, at 11.55, you actually had to call maintenance. Then again, it's, it's so important that you fill these details in when you see them. And then that way, when you're bringing up reports and things for your audits, then you've got all of the proof that you need that you never have suffered a cold chain failure. The notes are important. So we encourage you to take a look at that. For those of you who just can't uh, live without a graph, we've supplied those as well. And you can just scroll in and out on your, your mouse for um, closer or, or maybe more, more looking for a trend. And of course, through to your settings is where you're going to uh, name your device. So let's say we put this in upstairs fridge. We no longer want to, uh, to track that. So we're just going to change it to the basement fridge. Okay. We can track the temperature. You can ask us for a, a probe. We can supply a probe to you if you wish. And also if it's a storeroom or something, you can track the humidity. That's all built into the system already. And of course, like everything, save your settings. So that's where we're at. Your history, your notifications, your chart and your settings. Let's go back to manage, which is your home page. Let's travel across to your menu. And on the top of the menu, you can see alerts. Now alerts is the most fantastic thing about this system. And it still surprises me that people use data loggers, which it's not until they download that they actually found out they've had an issue. Our system will let you know before you suffer that cold chain failure. So let's just pop into alerts. And of course you have a uh, gateway on or off alert. Sometimes you'll get a quick text message saying it's offline. A few seconds later, you're saying it's back online. That is simply a fluctuation in your internet. However, if that second text message does not arrive, then I will be going over to check the fridge because that's your surefire way that you have had a permanent uh, power outage. If you need to turn that off for any reason, of course, it's very self-explanatory. Let's pop down to refrigerator one. Let's say we're actually gonna restock this um, refrigerator now over the next five minutes. I would go to uh, this website on my phone. I would slide that off, I'd do the restock, and then I'd put it back on. If you don't want to play with that, then simply if it trips, go over and make the note about restocking fridge. If you wanna pop in here, and change anything about your thresholds, you can do so. It's very, very simple. You can also add a recipient or you can add a rule. At the moment, I would leave this as it is because as soon as something is triggered, it's going to let you know. So you can add a recipient here, text message, email, you can choose, custom message, you can choose. You can choose from people uh, inside the system or you can add somebody brand new. Again, good policy is just to save the page when you're done. The other thing that we can also do here, go to manage, go to menu, and down to reports, is we can set up those reports. So if I want, at the moment, uh, we're doing a 4.30 p.m. report, which is standard, that's how we set them up, which means your staff are getting um, their citing, they're signing and they're saving that report before they go home, keeping their protocols in place. And then again in the morning, this is a summertime um, start time for some people, but let's go across and, and see.